Don't you understand that I've been true to you, but I'm in demand because gentlemen prefer blondes like me. The classic musical comedy Gentlemen Prefer Blondes is back in town with smash star Megan Hilty taking her Maryland routine to the stage of City Center to play Lorelai Lee. We're here to chat with the cast about this special Encores concert run. Gentlemen for Blondes, how's it going? Are you, you're just sort of discovering this show that a lot of people maybe don't know that well. I didn't know it that well, and I'm like so happy. It's so funny and so good, and kind of like wait, like sometimes you dust these things off and you're like, oh my god, what is this thing gonna be? You know, and this is like amazing. This Maryland thing is now following you around because of Smash. <laughs> so what's it like to be doing this this iconic Maryland raw? It's great. I just can't stay away from things that Maryland's touched. Um, but the great thing is is that Carol Channing was actually the person who originated this role on Broadway. So, and I mean, you, I can't imagine two more different ladies playing <laughs> like the role. And I can, I can pull things from what I'd imagine they did and, and still make it my own. Someone broke my heart in Little Rock And I up and left old Arkansas Like a little lost lamb I about till I came to New York and I found out the one you call your daddy ain't your pa. I was young and determined. I was wined and dined and ermined every night. Opportunity would knock. And now some of these days in my fancy clothes, I'm a going back home and thumb my nose at the one who done me wrong. The one sort of one of these madcap musical comedy romance adventure drama whatever what is this it? it's all of that you just wrapped it up yeah the in a nutshell um, it's just got this incredible material and some of the things that make you surprised at musical theater like take you out of your seat and just go what did he really say that did she really say that and make it work and make it funny and and it leads into a song, and it's just it's celebrating the best of what you think of big Broadway musicals. Step on the gas and step to a rhythm that's classy. Hey, hey, hey this is the way we keep it cool with Coolidge. Be up to date and pass up a rhythm that's passe. Hey, hey, hey wriggle and sway, we we'll keep it cool with Coolidge. You are not the blonde this time. I'm not the blonde, I'm the brunette. Yes, this is true. Um, I play Dorothy Shaw, um, and uh, Dorothy and Lorelei, played by Megan. We go on a cruise. She's the practical one, but she's the gold digger. I'm the party girl who doesn't want to get tied down by a rich man. I just want to have fun. And um, luckily, we both end up finding um, the loves of our lives. A lot of people know these songs from Carol Channing, right? Or they know the Marilyn Monroe movie. What's, what is the stage show like? The stage show is remarkably different from the film in that it's, it has more music, first off. More fabulous Julie Stein music. I've seen the movie a couple of times, and the, the original Broadway show is quite different. So it's kind of cool because you're, you're not going to see the same show that you've, you've seen a million times. What's it like discovering this music? I mean, it's such a throwback, the score, isn't it? Oh, I love these old-time musicals. They're great. And it's just fun. It just makes you feel happy. It's why you want to go to the theater and be entertained and leave with a smile on your face. This kind of music is like sitting sitting in a comfortable armchair, and all you have to do is just sit there and relax, and it's just going to carry you along. Uh, it's it's really really wonderful stuff. It's one of the most fantastic scores, top to bottom, that I've ever heard. Julie Stein's music is unbelievably beautiful, and the lyrics are so smart that you, as an audience member, you just want to listen to everything. You don't want to miss a single thing. Bye bye, baby. Remember you're my baby when they give you the eye. Although I know that you care, won't you write and declare that though on the loose you are still on the square. 
So what's the deal? Do gentlemen prefer blondes or what? Yes. Yes. I would be evidence of, yes, the gentlemen prefer the blondes from my past. But um, <laughs> I will say yes, since my wife is a blonde. My wife would absolutely kill me because she's like, you like blonde. My wife's a brunette. Um, but I kind of, yeah, until my wife, I was always, always dating blondes. I've been a redhead, a brunette, and a blonde. Oh, I don't know. I think it depends on, on the child within. The sequel to Gentlemen Prefer Blondes is uh, But They Marry Brunettes. So everybody wins. <laughs>